Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome back with Brother Steve with In the Work. Well, brothers and sisters, I'm coming uh, to you with another poignant and important message uh, this evening. Brothers and sisters, I want to essentially, uh, I want to bring a message to you. Brothers and sisters, I want to get straight to it. I've titled this vid video, Lawlessness. I've titled this video, Lawlessness. Now, some of you, obviously, with the title of this video, can somewhat get an idea of, of what this video is concerning and what, what's it all about. Well, Brother Steve wants to bring a message of awareness. You know, brothers and sisters, in Matthew 24, when Christ told us that uh, the love of many shall wax cold. You know, brothers and sisters, there are those out there that that tend to think that uh, things are as though it's they've always been. Well, I'm here to tell those people that are operating with that train of thought. You could be no further from the truth. Brothers and sisters, I was online uh, looking at a couple videos and I came across a video and I kind of want to um, discuss it. Uh, I feel like it's, it's relevant and it's very, very important uh, to bring some level of, of understanding in terms of where we are. Now, those that are in this truth, that are serving the Most High God in Christ, uh, in truth, that are in reality, not irreality, well, y'all understand perfectly fine. But this video is definitely necessary for those who uh, uh, quite just don't get it. Now, the video that I'm going to, to show you, uh, it, it's going to be uh, a tad bit uh, difficult for some of y'all to see. But it is a reality that must be shown, must be discussed. Because brothers and sisters, this is happening to our people. The children of Israel, the so-called blacks, the so-called African-Americans, the coloreds, the Afro-Americans, is happening to us. And the work that I'm doing with some of y'all out there, it's a necessity to bring awareness. See, there are so many of our people out there that, brothers and sisters, they don't believe in nothing. They don't believe in anything. They wake up every day. They go into the world. They look to cause chaos, destruction, dismay. They're operating with a predatory mindset. And they have no regard for their fellow brother and sister. So Brother Steve here, along with, with the rest of y'all out there, we got to do our jobs and do our work. Brothers and sisters, lawlessness, a state of emergency. Some of y'all might recall that I did a video on, uh, it might have been a couple weeks ago, on Masada. And I was parallel, paralleling Masada, the event then to now. Some of y'all can recall in that video that I highlighted some of the different factions that were at war internally with our people. How you had two, two religious factions, two political, politically driven, religiously and politically driven, the Sakari or the Dagger Men, along with the regular Jews or the Hebrews. And how there was infighting. And how some of our people then in Masada chose not to adhere to the prophecies of Christ telling our people then when you see the Roman armies come past with swords, flee into the West, flee into the mountains, run into Africa. But those that, that chose to regard the sayings of Christ perished in Masada. Along with internal fighting, internal murder, genocide, infocide. It was a complete catastrophe and chaos. 
And those people were wiped out. So we're here because our ancestors chose to listen. Think about it. I wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here. Had certain ancestors in our ancestral background not taken those steps to adhere to Christ. The fact that we're breathing and living, we bear witness to the prophecy then. Because we're here. Brothers and sisters, I want to show you a video and before I do so. Let me uh, let me uh, give you let me give the fair use uh, statement so that I, I'm not flagged or anything like that here. OK, uh, fair use, fair use. The copyright laws of the United States recognize a fair use of copyrighted content. Section 107 of the U.S. Copyright Act states. Notwithstanding the provisions of sections 106 and 106A, the fair use of copyrighted work, including such use by reproduction and copies or uh, phone records or by any other means specified by this section for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, including multiple copies for classroom use, scholarship, scholarship and or research and this is not an infringement of copyright now this video will be tra uh, transformative for biblical studies and teaching brothers and sisters i have a video here okay now this video is a video uh it's a video of a shooting that occurred uh, a disagreement a shooting that occurred in the city of philadelphia I want you, I want y'all to take a look at this and then I'll come back with my commentary uh, in the video. Okay. Hold on just a second, brothers and sisters. All right. Just pulling it up for y'all real quick. Thank you for your patience. Hold on real quick here. Okay. All right. Once again, this is fair use, fair use. Now, once again, you're going to see three individuals. I want you to watch. I want you to watch. Uh, I want you to watch the one guy in the red. And then I want you to watch the two. But see, brothers and sisters, once you see these three individuals, I, excuse me, I want you to watch to what happens after the incident, pay attention, brothers and sisters. Now at five tonight, a deadly encounter outside of a barber shop. Philadelphia police are trying to track down a duo who struggled with another armed man before shooting and killing him. It is Thursday night, and the big story in Action News is that terrifying encounter in Hunting Park. Today, police identified the man who was killed and released new details about what two bystanders did right after the crime. Action News reporter Brianna Gallagher now live for us at police headquarters with those details. Brianna. Good evening, Rick and Shari. Police are searching for multiple suspects this evening after a man was shot and killed in broad daylight in Hunting Park. And police say that this was uh, all caught on camera. Action News obtained surveillance footage. Of now, brothers and sisters, I want you to pay very, very close attention to this. Lawlessness. The love of many shall wax cold. And this is a perfect example to this lesson. Pay attention, brothers and sisters altercation that turned deadly. Police arrived on the corner of 8th and Luzerne around 6.30 Wednesday night and found a 38-year-old man on the sidewalk suffering from multiple gunshot wounds to the chest. Officials say he was pronounced dead shortly after, but they do believe he was targeted. All of these shell casings, some are just inches and some are just feet away from where the victim had collapsed. So it's pretty clear that this shooting victim was the intended target because there were a lot of people in the area at the time police say there are several witnesses and thankfully multiple angles of surveillance footage authorities say an altercation broke out just before the shooting you can see a physical altercation a fight between the victim and another male and that's when you see a third person approach and pull a handgun and fire multiple shots 
from very close range. Police say the victim also had a gun. After he was shot, the suspects got away and were last seen traveling west on Luzerne in a dark or black colored Dodge Charger. A male and female walk up to him while he was laying on the... Now, brothers and sisters, we see these type of, these, these type of things in inner city neighborhoods all the time throughout the United States of America. It's not that we don't know that these type of things happen. We live in these places. We've experienced these things. We've witnessed these things. What I want you to pay attention to next is watch what happens after the incident occurs. I want you to pay attention to the despicable and wickedness of the enablers and those that stood by after this incident in terms of this man being shot. And then I want you to see what they do. Sidewalk, a male picks up the gun, takes it out of his hand, and then hands it to a female. And then you also see this male go through the victim's pockets. So after he's shot, laying on the sidewalk unresponsive, and before the police arrive, now, it's not clear what was taken from the victim's pockets. However, police do say this is very unusual for two separate people to walk up and do something like this. Live here at police headquarters, Brianna Gallagher, Channel 6 Action News. Rick? All right, Brianna, thank you for that report. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to be honest with you. You have an altercation, two individuals. The one guy in the black sweatshirt, he swung, hit the guy in the red. They tussle, they go right back, they're, they're moving towards the alley. The third guy runs up, takes his gun out, and he starts blasting on, on the guy in the red. After the incident, the people who were around them witnessed the altercation. Now, I understand, brothers and sisters, we do have to use wisdom. And I'm not saying that those out there could have prevented or done anything. But I can assure you and guarantee you this. When, when the car pulled up and that man and woman got out the car, the man went to that guy that, that was shot in the red. He picked up the gun, gave it to his girl. Then he went and rifled through his pockets. Lawlessness. This video is an example of the plagues that are plaguing our communities and our people. And then they wonder why brothers and sisters like myself and others, many others, who are trying to bring our people into the truth because of a state of lawlessness, a state of violence, a state of iniquity, at high levels, but yet our same people fight against us, they hate us, and yet continue to endure the same plagues over and over and over again. Black lives matter. Black lives matter, right? Where they at? Where are they? I can assure you, the people we just seen on camera, I could put money on it that them same individuals was part of that garbage last last summer, last year, and them stupid marches. I seen all types of craziness doing them things. I knew the organization from the get-go was, was full of it, was BS. We see killings every day in the hood.
And those that are on this YouTube platform got a problem with brothers bringing this truth. But you want to sit up there and talk about hatred. Talk about killing black babies. Want to talk about division of the families. Hatred of our men. Hatred of our women. Murder. Destruction. Brothers and sisters, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 7. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 7. And it states, their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their paths. Brothers and sisters, you wonder why they hid the, the, the history of our people for so long. You wonder why there was an orchestrated agenda to hide our true identity. It was for that video, the video you just watch, it was for that exact purpose. It was never meant for us to depart from the wickedness. Why would they want to see the, 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 connect, the connectivity and the togetherness of one people? Why? They've always known. But you got these simpletons, these murderers, these brothers and sisters with the spirit of Cain amongst us. Just because we skin folk don't mean we kid folk. Hell no. Ain't no way. You got your brothers out here listening to that garbage. Mumble rap. Talk about running up on the ops. You running up on the ops. AK-47. M-11. Tech-9. 357. Calico 380. 45 ACP. 40 Cal. Warsaw 10. M-16. AR-15. Rocking a snap box. You're the damn enemies. Running up on our little babies. Shooting them in the face. Robbing and killing the elderly. Murderers. Murderers. Thieves. And this is why two-thirds is going to be cut off. This is why. And we in that time. We in that time. So brothers and sisters, Hebrews and Gentile nations that are serving Christ. It's time to be bold. Pedophilia. Homosexuality. Effeminate men. 
bull dyke, bull dagger women. Sick of seeing that shit, man. It's a plague. It's a plague. This is what they wanted the whole time. This was what gentrification was all about. See, everything that they do, Satan uses. He snatches a, 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 a play right out the playbook from history. And he uses it over and over and over again. Exploitation. Hatred. And this is what the nations have always known. Let us cut them off from being a nation that the nation of Israel, Yahshua, be no more remembered. Let us come with a tumult, an agreement to destroy these people. And then y'all wonder why we teach, bringing you the history. They call us revolutionaries. They call us cultists. All because we want to follow the most high God in Christ. Brothers and sisters, I had to show you that. And I had to make this point. I pray that this video has resonated with you today. It's very upsetting to see that. It's heavy, but it is a reality. And we are in those times. A house divided against itself can and shall not stand in division. And just because you Israel Just because you skin folk, it ain't enough for me. Because if you're not serving Christ, you are an enemy, a plague. Justice, judgment, and repercussions for all the families who are losing lo loved ones to gun violence, to senseless murder. Justice, judgment, and repercussions on all nations who are serving Satan in a perpetual cycle of violence. Justice, judgment, and spiritual repercussions day and night. Fire. Fire. All right. Brothers and sisters, you know what time it is. This is Brother Steve within the work coming out the city of Detroit. I thank you for another opportunity. I thank you for the support of this channel. May the Most High God Ahaya, Bashim Yeshaya, Wawawa Kadesh in Christ cover you. May a wall of fire be around you. May, a spirit of, may the spirit of peace and rest go ahead of you as you travel to and fro. All right. Y'all have a good evening. Shalom. Bless you. And I'm out. Peace. I love y'all. Stay up.